It's not a surprise that Atomic War can produce some sad stories, but the Fallout franchise really knew how to express them with key characters. So today, I'll be continuing the countdown, discussing the most heart-wrenching stories Fallout could give us. to some radiation every day from cosmic rays or other natural sources of radiation. These exposures are too small to hurt you. Carol may just be one of the most tear-jerking ghouls this side of DC. Being 226 years old makes Carol a pre-war ghoul, thus meaning she has a story to tell about the day the bombs fell. There was a flash of light brighter than anything you could imagine. When asked about her story, she explains in detail about how she and her father looked for safety in a fallout shelter. Her father stopped to help a family when the explosion literally vaporized him and knocking Carol unconscious. After a few hours, Carol awoke and looked for her father, only to find his shadow burned into a wall. There was his shadow, burned into the wall so crisp and clear like he was standing next to me the heat had burned it into the concrete she returned to the shelter to wait out the storm and even mentions the horrific sounds of chaos coming from above later on she finds refuge in the museum of history's afterlife exhibit along with other survivors many of them however go through mental breakdowns after the post-nuclear radiation takes a toll on their skin and then ghoulifies them my skin started to get dry and flake off. Everyone's did. It took a while. Months. Maybe a year. But sooner or later, everyone ended up like this. Unlike many, Carol accepted her changes and remained in the exhibit now known as Underworld. If you want to make Carol's story even more tragic, you can inform her that her adopted son in Megaton, Gob, is working as a slave in Megaton. This has been the second episode of Tragic Fallout Tales. Like, share, and subscribe. You tell the same story for 200 years, you'll feel pretty uninteresting too.